the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational, two great competitors took center stage. Tiger Woods eyed a tournament three-peat, while Jim Furyk searched for the biggest win of his career. To get a chance to, at the number one player in the world, uh, to go all 72 holes and play seven holes in a playoff, it's an exciting day. Uh, it was a lot of fun today playing and competing at, at that level. Win or lose to be able to, to be out there in that environment is pretty cool. Welcome to this edition of PGA Tour Classic, the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational. The superlatives have been written. Records have been broken. Can anyone beat this guy? At the 2000 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational, players attempted to elevate their games into the same stratosphere as Tiger Woods. Eagles, double eagles, and holes in one were not good enough. Tiger not only beat the field in the demanding Firestone Country Club layout, but he shot lights out, literally. A weather delay of nearly three hours forced the final pairing to finish in darkness. But with a 10-shot lead and his title defense secure, Tiger put an exclamation point on his third World Golf Championships crown. In a scene reminiscent of a rock concert, the Ohio fans flicked on their lighters for an encore performance. Tiger's climactic birdie on the final hole set the 72-hole scoring record at Firestone. One year later, Woods seeks his third straight World Golf Championships NEC Invitational and his sixth straight win in Ohio. But Jim Furyk, the world's 15th ranked player, wants nothing more than to dethrone Woods at Firestone. Next, it's the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational, a PGA Tour Classic. Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic, the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational. Since 1962, Firestone Country Club in Akron, Ohio, has been the home venue for the World Series of Golf. Under its original four-man 36-hole format, the tournament was played as an exhibition and often featured key matchups between the greatest players of that day. That was then. This is now. Today, the game's best from around the world compete at the World Golf Championships NEC Invitational in hopes of stopping the one man who has made Firestone his home away from home. My game sets up very well with Firestone. I, I love hitting my driver. I love getting it out there. And when Firestone's playing soft is, I think, when it's the, the best for me, just because of the fact that uh, the ball's plug out there, which means that uh, you have to be a little bit longer off the tee. You have to hit the ball high. And I tend to do that with my driver. And, uh, just for some reason, every hole just fits my eye. It's just one of those golf courses that you, you can't wait to get to. Indeed, a scary proposition for the rest of the elite field. Having only two par fives, you better birdie the first because the 16th hole at a measly 625 yards is just about unreachable in two shots for anyone but Tiger. With a stroke average a shade over par, it's one of the most challenging holes on tour. The par 4 17th. The eighth toughest hole at the 2000 event is probably the last chance for birdie. It's only 399 yards. 
The finishing hole is a demanding dogleg left with thick rough and trees guarding its narrow fairway. It's a perfect test for anyone holding a slim lead, and par here won't hurt. All eyes will be on one man as he goes for his third in a row in Akron, Ohio. On Thursday, Tiger began his quest for a three-peat. The world's number one player fired a bogey-free first round four under par 66. After a slow start, Tiger got it going on the back, birdieing three of the last five holes. But Woods was looking up at the leaders. Jim Furyk, winner of the 2001 Mercedes Championships, used his bogey-free five under par 65 to share the lead with the Shark. Greg Norman, a two-time winner of the event, also posted a five under par 65 on Thursday. After 18 holes, Norman and Furyk share the lead. Four others are one shot back. On Friday, Phil Mickelson saw his name on the front page of the leaderboard. Lefty followed his three under 67 with a four under 66. Good for second place with this man, Tiger Woods. Woods, despite a double bogey seven on the par 5 16th, shot a three under 67. He was in position to make a move on the weekend. The man they were chasing was Jim Furyk. His four under par 66 moved him to nine under, two shots ahead of Woods and Mickelson. An exciting weekend is shaping up at the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational, a PGA Tour Classic. In 1986, Dan Pohl won his second career title despite a wayward trip around Firestone's back nine. Just how strong were his scrambling abilities? During one stretch, Pole one-putted five of six greens, bogeying only once. And it wasn't pretty, but his final round 71 did earn him a narrow one-shot victory over Lanny Watkins. On Saturday, Jim Furyk's two-shot advantage evaporated with bogeys on holes four and five. Furyk righted his ship with his first birdie of the day to join Woods and Mickelson at eight under par. We pick up the action at the par four ninth. Gary McCord with the call. Tiger Woods for his birdie to go nine under and a one-shot lead on the ninth hole. No problem whatsoever. Phil Mickelson, a winner at Firestone in 1996, has a 35 footer for birdie and a share of the lead. Yeah, collision, collision. Finally, look at it. Missed the little ones. That's it. I've got it. Here's about 35 feet away and playing. So Mickelson now tied with Tiger Woods. But he wouldn't be tied for long. Tiger's approach at number 10 from 125 yards out lands just inches from the cup, and he would birdie to move to 10 under. An incredible shot by Tiger, whose record-breaking year in 2000 was one for the ages. It's an image as recognizable as the name. In elevating golf to the next level, Tiger Woods elevated himself to the pinnacle of sport. His performance in 2000 was indeed one for the ages. Records fell and history was made. No adjectives were left to describe it, and if there were, they wouldn't do it justice. And until given the chance to look back on it, Tiger himself didn't realize its magnitude. Person going through it, you don't really realize the periphery. You don't understand you know, what's actually going on, what's being said. Playing there in person, you know what you have, you know what to do. Uh, just a matter of doing it. Okay, but you get a different perspective on TV, and I think that that's what added to I think the, the specialness of the year. Is although I was able to watch it and and really get an understanding of what I accomplished. Because when you're out there playing, you could care less about what else is going on. Um, 
you just want to hit the shot the way you want to and hopefully make a putt and, and get it going and hopefully win a championship. Woods leads Mickelson by one. Furyk is two shots back. Furyk with a 12-footer for birdie at the par 3 12. And he moves to within one of Tiger Woods. Following a par at 13, Furyk has his eyes set on another birdie at 14. Well, and he's been fortunate that uh, Woods and Mickelson haven't really taken advantage of the way they've played and, and run away from him, too. He's still, still right in the game, and obviously this putt ties for the lead. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. So after uh, dipping down to as low as seven under, climb back up to minus 10. Mickelson's run came to a screeching halt at 16. His tee shot went left and landed in the thick rough behind a tree. Failing to notify playing competitor Jim Furyk that he was marking to check if the ball he found was his, Mickelson was assessed a penalty after the round. He finished the day at seven under and went on to shoot a 72 Sunday, good for an eighth place tie. Meanwhile, ahead at the green, Woods for birdie to regain the lead. No problem. He goes to 11 under par now, one shot lead over Jim Furyk. Tiger would finish the day at 11 under. But Furyk was just getting started. His birdie at 16 fueled a string of three straight coming in. He closed out his round by nestling his approach at 18 to within five feet. His birdie barrage led him to a four under par 66, 13 under for the tournament, and a two shot lead going into the final round of the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational. A PGA Tour Classic. Welcome back to the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational, a PGA Tour Classic. On Sunday, with nary a challenger in sight, Woods and Furyk, though playing conservatively, found themselves separated from the field. At the turn, Furyk had a one-shot advantage over Woods. Following pars at 10, 11, and 12, we pick up the action at the par 4 13th. Peter Oosterhaus and David Faraday have the call. Pretty good drive from Furyk. Yeah, you know, he yeah, caught, uh, he caught the downslope yeah. just past the tree and jumped over the upslope in front of him. Got a nice bit of roll here. Just uh, 18 yards behind Tiger. Has a seven iron here and a good look at this flag. To get within 20 yards of Tiger, that's certainly a moral victory. Well back, slightly right of center. Well, this is another weak shot to the right. He's hit a number of these today. Woods second into the par four. 160 yards. Come on, Come on, that one's just out. left. Yeah. He liked it all the way. Super shot. Not a lot of break on this putt. Excellent chance to give it a good firm wrap. Won't be downhill, won't have to worry about a return putt. Woods for birdie and a share of the lead. Beautifully played. It was a very, very makeable putt. Furyk has a 10-footer for par to maintain a share of the lead. Very poor play after a, a longer drive than we expected from him. A bad arm shot, a poor chip, and a pretty mediocre putt. Tiger takes the lead. Following a par at 14, Woods is first to play at the par 315. A high soft shot and advantage if you're straight. A little left and a little long. Tiger will have about 50 feet. 
And a good chance here, Bobby, to steal that shot back. This is a six iron. And this one pretty much right at it. Beautiful looking shot by Jim Furyk. About eight feet. So Furyk looking to retake the lead. Wood 60 feet away for birdie. And he would miss that and make bogey and that would drop him to 12 under par. Furyk has struggled with his putter. He now has the opportunity for birdie to retake a one shot lead. I could almost see the ball coming off a little bit. A little bit of side spin not end over end. Let's see how he does. It's better. That's birdie. Both players laid up on the monstrous par 5 16. Tiger trailing by one, preparing for his third shot. This is less than appetizing looking flag from where they are. Tiger's got 60 degree here, 103 yards. Really wants just to pinch this one as nicely as he can, fly it in behind the hole. If you can get this ball, David, to the left of the hole, about six feet deep, with some vampire suck on it, it'll go right back down the trough towards the hole. Contact. Yeah. One yards for Furick. Sand wedge. See from that angle, that flag to them looks like it's on a plank. Well, that's right at it. Right at it. Oh, he matched all the spin. I see more spin. Well, these guys are playing the whole lot of life. They laid it up right next to each other. Tiger was a little concerned on the way up there. Very difficult for him to tell whether or not those balls touched. Wanted to make sure that one of them didn't have to be replaced. Straight up the hill, you don't see anything here? It's not a whole lot there. Oh, two pretty good shots to leave themselves. Putts as easy as this. Close, David. Another miss to the right. After watching Furyk's putt, Wood should have a good read for his birdie attempt. That was the tie for the lead with Jim Furyk. Well, that was solid. Right? That was my contest there. Back and forth we go. Following pars at 17, Furyk and Woods are tied heading for the home hole. Furyk, seeking a seventh career title, prepares for his second shot into the par 4 18. Mike Kahn gave him 144 to carry the bunker. It guards this flag. And he has nine iron. Got a jump on it. Well, he pushed it. Needs to get done. Down. Oh boy. Tough bunker play from there, Kenny. It's very fast. I was watching Monty chip down there, and he barely, he was putting it from off the fringe, and the ball just got on, got all the way down. It's really fast. It's coming down there really quick. Wood surveys his second shot. And he's got to be thinking birdie. He can't concede that Furyk's going to make bogey. He's still got to take the aggressive approach here and try and make three. You're absolutely right. He found this same hole location last year in the dark. Now in broad daylight. He'd like to have it just as close, Jimmy. Oh, he also pushed this. Wow. Oh. What? Identical. I don't believe it. That's a huge unforced error by a guy with a wedge in his hand. This is where you have to really get your nerve because you just, you got to trust it. It's going to come out running and you got to just clear the lip. Oh, he did. 
Nothing on it. Yeah, it's just Too much sand, huh? He's buried there. With Furyk facing a difficult downhill putt for par, Woods wants to get this close to possibly secure the title. surface. Furyk lagged his putt to two feet and now Woods has a 16 footer standing between him and a third consecutive World Golf Championships NEC Invitational title. I might want to go a little right at the end. This for the win. He's got a good chance of making this. As long as it comes out of the fringe right. Stood up there and did the toughest thing there is to do in this hole, and that's drive it in fairway. Well, they'll go in and sign their cards, and they'll return back to the 18th tee. The playoff is next at the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational. After the first 18 holes of the 1990 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational, Jose Maria Olathobles, 9 under 61, led the field by four shots. He claimed a clean sweep of tournament records for 36, 54, and 72 holes, maintaining the record for the largest lead after each round. And his 72-hole total of 262 set the record for the four-day event. Tied after 72 holes, Woods and Furyk are back on the 18th tee to begin the playoff. Tiger Woods has a 5 and 1 record in playoffs while Jim Furyk is 1 and 2 in his career. Mike Shea given in the numbers which order they will tee off on. Tiger Woods first to play. As I mentioned earlier, I still think the fairway is narrower for Tiger with driver than it, than it is for Jim. Right, right, He's having a hard time with the driver. He's always putting his dead center. Speaking of the power ball. And he's in the right side of the fairway. A better angle to pin this time than he had last. Now it goes on Fury's shoulders. Fantastic tee shot from Woods there. Just hammered it down the left and it drifted to the right corner. Two birdies and a bogey. His playoff victory was at the Hawaiian Open, defeating Brad Faxon. Only to come back the next year and lose to Paul Stankowski at Wileye. JP Hayes defeated him at Westchester. Okay. Oh, that one very tight to the tree line on the left. Needs a kick to the right. Oh, he caught a limb. Furyk's tee shot settles in the first cut of rough, and he'll have a difficult angle to the green. And that's eight iron. I don't believe he can get that up over the limb in front of him. He's got to be right of those limbs and, and trying to hook hard. It'll test all your skill right here. It's a good effort. It's right in the center of the green, but it looks a little warm. Oh. Welcome back to the bunker. After I saw Jim put the ball in the bunker, I just tried to get the ball on the green because I knew that where he was, uh, it would be, you know, it'd be a pretty tough par. Kenny, would you right now not be as aggressive as the last go round? Say, hey, if I make four, I, I got probably a 50 percent chance of winning this thing. Oh, I think so. I think he has to get it. To me, about 12 feet short of the hole would take the back bunker out of play, even if he went to the right. So it's 
got twice the area if he leaves it under the hole. But I don't think he's going to think that. I think he's looking right at the flag. I don't think he's playing safe or nothing. I think he's just going to just bore right down at it. Well, that's the way he plays, and that's probably what he's going to stick with. This is starting out right, and it's not turning over. But the yardage, as you called it, Kenny, was short of the bunker. Gave him a wider landing space, and he found it. Furyk needs to get this close to have any chance of victory. How do you play this one? Well, this is going to get a wide stance. Open it as far as you can. And just clear the just clear the edge. I think you take try and take a good hard swing at it, trying to get it to spin somewhat too. Get up. Game over, boys. Furyk's miscue sets the stage for Tiger. And Tiger's putt is extremely fast going down across that hill. It's going to take good speed control here to get it where he'd like. The thing that'll confuse Furyk is if Tiger leaves this uh, four feet from the hole, five feet from the hole. Now Jim will have to wonder whether he's just going to try and get it up and down or try to hole it in case Tiger makes it. But if Tiger knocks this stone, then it's over for Furyk unless he holds it. What do you see in this putt, Peter? It's quick. It should move away to the north course to the right. I don't look for this to have a lot of speed. Better find some speed. What he had in mind, I'm sure. And what what is that uh, remaining in terms of outside the hole and speed, Peter? Well, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those that's going to get all your attention. It's probably a good three feet. Mm -hmm. And now I think this opens up the door of doubt for Furyk. What do you do? If Tiger had knocked up their stiff, he knows he has to hold it out. But now, do you take your chances the Tiger might miss that putt? He hold a bunker shot at a very critical point in his career in the 97 Ryder Cup singles against Nick Faldo on the 15th hole. Hold the bunker shot, won the match. One thing he has to do is a must. He must, if he doesn't hold it, he must get inside Tiger. You want to bet, though, it wasn't in his mind. Oh. oh. You have to always expect uh, your opponent to hit the best shot. And when he made the shot, it wasn't a surprise. And in either case, whether you hold it or not, I was going to have to make my putt. That's Slap like me, silly, and call me Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brenda, what's Tiger got left here? One that I wouldn't like, I'll tell you that. Oh my goodness! Amazing to think that this could end right here. Oh, for Furyk. <laughs> well, that was the champion. Shot, that bunker shot, Jim, took a little bit of the break out of this putt. And again, don't forget, he, he didn't rush up there and attempt that second bunker shot. Asked for a little clarification, pause, gave him a little time to reflect, and hold it. Now Tiger must make to extend the tournament. Going from where he thinks he makes the putt, he wins. Now he has to make the putt to go to number 17. On to 17. That took some nerve right there, too. The playoff continues at the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational. Welcome back to the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational. After sinking an incredible bunker shot to extend the playoff, Furyk prepares for his second at the par 4-17. 167 yards left, and he's got six iron. That doesn't seem like a lot of club, Peter. This it's is a, a very strong breeze. It's very much uphill. Again, David, it's just now starting to swirl again.
But a good contact. And he's got it on a good line. Furyk's brilliant six iron has put him within birdie range. And the pressure is on Woods. Well, this looks to be an eight iron. Of course, the difficulty with an uphill life, make too hard a swing and don't transfer your weight, you will pull it. That's what we saw from both of them just a few minutes ago. This, this is well left, Peter. And looks to be hidden under the very thick fringe of rough. Woods pitched out past the hole. He has a 15 footer to save par. This putt will have to go left, Peter, depending on the speed that he chooses to hit it. But I assure you, he will hit it with enough speed to get it to the hole. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. A little gesture to the gallery. All business. What a putt. Now, Furyk, who stuck that six iron to within 12 feet, has a chance for birdie. To win the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational. Yes, yes. <laughs> and on they go. Just not quite firm enough. Back to the par 418. Well, now to that uh, most talent challenging tee shot. Well, and as expected, he has taken out the driver. Way left, Jim, but it looked like there might be a scoreboard there. It could be interesting if it gets line of sight relief on the scoreboard. With Woods in the woods, advantage Fury. Well, this one is right. It's going to try to cling onto the edge of the fairway. <laughs> oh, well, he's got a better angle, though. Than he had before. I have to believe that Furyk right now is got in his mind. Don't make worse than four. Forget your three. And he's probably been in that right bunker about as many times as he wants to today. I would say so. That's a nine iron from 170 yards and a great line. Oh, what a shot! Furyk has 12 feet remaining for birdie and the win. Meanwhile, Tiger discusses his options with rules official Mike Shea. If I had to play it from where it was, I would have gone right at the flag. Because I had a shot at to be able to put the ball in the bunker. Where I was originally, I had no follow through, but I had a shot where I, I could carry it pretty easily into the front bunker, the, the second bunker. Um, but, you know, you, you have to take this mandatory relief, so I took relief. Well, Lanny, he may not even go for the green here. I think he's going to pitch it out. Try to get the best angle for another pitch or a long putt back toward the hole. You could hear him say, the uh, best shot really is the one right there to leave it right in front. With an angle to the hole. Well, he didn't quite hit it far enough, but he's got himself a shot. He was guaranteed four from where he was, and especially as, as good as he puts, and probably more likely he'd hold it the way things were going. Uh, so I, I had to somehow just put it at least inside of him so I wouldn't have to putt first so that he was forced to have to make his in order to win. From the breaks. And uh, superb. Wonderful. I think he just did just what he needed to do. He put it inside Jim Fury, get a great shot, forcing Fury now to hit an aggressive putt. For the second straight hole, Fury with a chance to shut the door on Tiger and win the title. Close it out right here. With a make. Oh boy. Oh my.
Another lost opportunity for Furyk. Tiger with a three-footer to extend the playoff to a fourth hole. Taking a very long stroke. He's Easy four. Yeah. From under a Christmas tree. Tiger survives yet again. After perfect drives on the fourth playoff hole, the par four 17th, Furick is first to play. That's six iron again. A pretty good looking shot just left of the hole. <laughs> Getting closer every time. Slight left to right break from there. The Tiger can't see uh, the bottom of the flag stick. He can't see where Furyk's ball is sitting on the green, but he knows from the reaction that it's in good position, at least as good as last time, which was about 15 feet. Well, he's got an eight iron in his hands. Much better looking shot than the last time. That's the slope that's been a problem going down to where the cup was on the first day. Difficult hole placement. Has Tiger run out of miracles? The exciting finish of the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational is next on PGA Tour Classic. Now the conclusion of the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational, a PGA Tour Classic. With Furyk 12 feet away for birdie, Wood seemingly has run out of miracles. His approach on the fourth extra hole caught the slope and rolled 40 feet away. An up and down par could keep him in the match. Get in the hole! That's a good swing of the part of it. Just turned a little quicker as it came up the ridge. A little quicker to the left than he expected. So he'll tap in. Position. Trying to get the good angle for Furyk's 30 attempt. So Tiger just uh, a little glare. With wife Tabitha looking on, Furyk has a third straight birdie attempt to win the title and break Tiger's reign at the NEC Invitational. Again, two very good approach shots and two birdie attempts with not enough speed. Tiger dodges another bullet. After trading pars on the fifth extra hole, Woods has a 60-footer for birdie on the sixth for the win. <laughs> Steve Williams likes it. <laughs> Almost. Furyk made par as well, so it's back to the 18th for the fifth time today. Well, Tiger's had one left. He's had one right. If you follow the normal course of action, this will be center line. Peter, has the wind died at all now? Absolutely non-existent right now, Lanny. Which should make this tee shot a little bit easier. <laughs> Nonchalant toss of the tee, and he's ideal. Now, can Furick keep it in the fairway? And this one down the right again, a little further right, and there's a big blue spruce, a couple of bunkers over there. Not good. That's no good. As he did on the third playoff hole with Tiger, rules official Mike Shea goes over options with Furyk. What's Jim Furyk trying to get right here? He's trying to get back in the 
get it back in the fairway. He can't advance it much. He's probably got to go sideways, which will leave him still farther away than Tiger Woods, and he has to go sideways. And keeping it low, he's got to make sure that he gets through the rough out there. This is what he wanted all, all along, though, isn't it? This. All right. Yes. This position right yeah. here. Takes his position and takes his stance. Now it's fine because he can take a backswing now. Mike Shea getting out of the way. Now get it through the rough. Get out, Jimmy. Nah. Just got it out. <clears throat> That's the problem. You can't get through that. Well, he's got 180 yards from there. Not a good lie. Flag all the way over on the left hand side. Not a good situation. Furyk is still away. He discusses club selection and yardage with his caddy, Fluff Cowan, as Tiger patiently waits his turn in the fairway. I promise you, Tiger's not counting him out, though. No, that's what you have to think about. Always think, you know, that they're going to do something. Well, he went for the low runner. It's going to be weakened to the right, though. Furyk's not going to hold that, but, but Tiger wants to make no worse than Par himself to win. Well, he's thrown up grass three times and has gone in three different directions, so he's going to have to go with the general wind direction. Again, 140 yards. Get in the hole! Pitching wedge on its way. He likes it. He should. Oh! Almost ended it right there. He likes it. You can tell by the look. Game, set, match. Almost like the same shot he played last year at the last hole. Tiger's flair for the dramatic has him a foot away from winning his third consecutive World Golf Championships NEC Invitational. When Furyk's par attempt comes up short, reality sinks in. When you have Tiger on the ropes, you must close him out. He'll finish out then. He'll just go ahead and put out for his bogey and then turn it over to Tiger. No bogey. But what a great fight put up today. You bet, Tabitha. What a great fight put up by Jim Furyk. It looked like he had won this tournament on two or three occasions, at least. Now I think I think Tiger can two putt from here. I really do to win. I guarantee you that, that that's not six inches away from where it was last year. I think it's only fitting, Kenny, that somebody win this tournament with a birdie. I think you're absolutely right. And that is Tiger Woods for the third straight year. Well, I've always said if you made a golf course for a golfer, Firestone is made for Tiger Woods. To get a chance at the, at the number one player in the world, uh, to go all 72 holes and play seven holes in a playoff, it's an exciting day. Uh, I'm a little disappointed. I felt like I could have, uh, you know, I, I didn't lose the ball from tee to green. I lost the ball. In the, I lost the tournament on the greens. I should have made more butts today. Uh, it was a lot of fun today playing and competing at, at that level. Not too often you get a chance to to have your, your emotions and your intensity and your, your level of competitiveness at that high uh, level. And that, that to me is a lot of fun. And that, that's the ultimate. And win or lose to be able to, to be out there in that environment is pretty cool. With his third straight World Golf Championships NEC Invitational title, Woods becomes the first player since Gene Sarazen to win two events three consecutive times in the same year. Thanks for watching the 2001 World Golf Championships NEC Invitational, a PGA Tour Classic.